Welcome back to day 18 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're going deep into the found footage territory of the 1998 film, The Last Broadcast. No. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't the Blair Witch Project the first big found footage film? Yeah, that's what everybody thinks. But... The Blast broadcast actually beat the Blair Witch Project to the punch up by a full year. And here's the kicker. It doesn't get nearly the recognition it deserves. Let's start with why this film was ahead of its time. We're talking about a movie that was made for particularly no money, shot on digital video, and distributed over the internet before the internet was even the go-to place for stuff like this. If that doesn't scream innovative, I don't know what does. This was in 1998 when people were using dial-up and these guys were already using tech and online platforms to push their movie out there. They were practically pioneering digital distribution before it became the norm. Talk about being a fucking ahead of the curve. The plot follows a crew of filmmakers who head into the Pine Barrens of New Jersey to film a documentary about the Jersey Devil for their cable access show. Sounds like a typical setup, right? But things take a seriously dark turn when the filmmakers are murdered and the only surviving footage is what they recorded. So it's got that familiar what the hell happened mystery vibe that found footage fans love. But what's really cool is that this movie blends documentary style with mockumentary, creating this creepy, unsettling atmosphere where you're not sure what's real or scripted. Now, don't get me wrong, this film has its flaws. The acting can be a bit rough, but that kind of adds to the charm. It feels raw, unpolished, and real, which is exactly what you want from a found footage horror film. And the twist? Yeah, it's divisive. Some people think it's brilliant, others not so much, but it'll definitely get you talking. What makes The Last Broadcast different from the flood of found footage films that followed it, it's not really trying to show you shaky camera shots and freak you out with jump scares. It plays with reality, blending fact and fiction in a way that fucks with your head. It's like a true crime documentary that got lost in the woods and came back haunted. Honestly, if The Blair Witch Project hadn't come along and stolen the spotlight, you'd probably be talking about The Last Broadcast as the OG of the found footage genre. It was pushing boundaries, playing with technology and experimenting with storytelling in ways that were groundbreaking at the time. So if you've never seen it, do yourself a favor and check it out. It might not have the polish of later found footage films, but it's got that gritty, do-it-yourself feel our fans should appreciate. This film was doing the whole is it real or isn't thing before it was cool, and it deserves way more love for it. You're not gonna believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. This house looked like shit. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.